Good morning and welcome everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you and happy 1st of November. We're just flowing along. Feliz Domingo por la mañana y feliz mes de noviembre. So we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Amen. So we want to welcome all of you that are joining us by audio video. Uh, prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. And what does he have? He has blessings for you. He wants to encourage you. He wants to change you. And he wants to correct you. Amen. Yeah. So he's got big things for you. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Nos quiere bendecir. Nos quiere animar. Nos quiere cambiar. Y nos quiere corregir. Así es que prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. And last week we talked about joy. <laughs> Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Yeah. You know, we need strength on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. Who else do we look for? We look up to Him. So let that joy of the Lord be your strength. Amen. So, a joyful, He wants us to be a joyful and passionate believers, Amen. followers of Him. Amen. And uh, before I get too far and too high, too, too carried away, because I'm excited. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Amen. This yeah. is the Word of God. And, uh, he, he wants to bless us, amen. So prepare yourselves to receive. And before I get too far away, grab your sword, yes. grab your Bible, and I hope you have one, and use it, amen. Yes. Praise God, we use the word of God here. That's all, that's what we use. So let's say it like you're in the church, amen. Yes. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, you can say that for yourself on a daily basis. This is my Bible. This is the word of God in me. Amen. <laughs> As children, we used to sing that song. You know, it's the Bible, the B-I-B-L-E. That's the book for me. Yes. And that's the book for me. You know, this book is full of the truth of God, and it's going to set me free. Because we're going to learn what the word of God says yes. so that we know that's the truth and that truth of God is going to set yes. you free from all the mindsets from all traditions from anything that's coming against you yes. but we have to do our part yes. amen we got to walk by faith and not by sight we got to walk by faith and not by fear yes. amen there's too much fear going around right now yes. Yes. and everybody's adapting to it everybody's just yeah. holding on to it uh -huh. but you know what we walk by faith as believers we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk That's by right. faith and not by fear. The more work you get in you, the more fear, the that, that fear's got to go. That's right. It's not for me. It's not for the child of God. You yes. know, <laughs> we talked about that so many times, but the children of God should be the happiest people in the world. Uh -huh. Should be the more passionate people in the world. Yeah. But we don't show it. Huh. Why? Because we don't spend time with, yeah. with Him. Uh, we, we, we don't have relationship with him we need to have relationship with him so that we can keep ourselves plugged in so that we can keep ourselves uh, plugged in yeah. stirred up and passionate about him amen so yeah. i'm getting too far ahead of myself so uh be prepared as a matter of fact let me read you i uh i post a daily scripture or daily break in the uh Facebook on a daily basis. So if you haven't joined, come join and read it. Let me read it to you. It says this. It says, smile often. Smile, smile, smile. You know, <laughs> crack a smile. <laughs> smile often and give you your frown of a rest yeah. or a break. <laughs> yeah. Give yourself a facelift daily that is guaranteed to improve your appearance. Uh -huh. It's called a smile. You might as well laugh at yourself once in a while because everyone else does. Yeah. <laughs> the only medicine, uh, the only medicine that needs no prescription, has no unpleasant taste, and costs no money, mm. is laughter. Smile yes. goes a long way. But yeah. you, you're the only one that must start it on its journey. Uh -huh. Your world will be much brighter and look brighter from behind a smile. Mm -hmm. Of all the things that you wear, your expression is the most important. Proverbs says, a merry heart, do it good like medicine. A good laugh is the best medicine, whether you're sick or not. Yeah. But the worst day that you can have is the day when you do not laugh mm. or smile. Amen. Yeah. Let's smile. 
dress yourself. You know, you can put all the nicest clothes you can have. Mm -hmm. But you know, don't forget yeah. to wear a smile. Yeah. Amen. Put on a smile. Hallelujah. And uh, it, it, people see that. Mm -hmm. People see it. And, and, and they want to know why you smile. Yeah. Now, when they open it door for you to come in you say it's because of Jesus mm -hmm. I spent time with my master and I'm so excited for him amen amen he loves me so much and he loves you too yes. amen he told me to tell you he loves you <coughs> oh, excuse me <clears throat> a passionate believer God wants us to love Obey and serve him with passion, with joy, every day of our lives. Amen. Let those emotions out. Let that enthusiasm, enthusiastic out. Be excited. Be zealous, you know. <laughs> We've said this, you know, hey, it's football season. Every Sunday, every Thursday, it's a football game. And we get so excited for our teams, you know. Yeah. Win or lose, we're still there. And we're excited. We're either mad or we're glad. Yeah. Yeah. But we're, we're, we're doing something yeah. and we're showing it. <laughs> but we can't do that for Jesus. Uh -huh. Amen. Well, come on now. Don't shout me down because I'm right. preaching good. It's amen. Psalms 118.24. Our awesome scripture. Uh -huh. Amen. We, we, we read this all the time. Yeah. But what is it? It says, this is the new day the Lord has made. Yes. I or we will rejoice and be, be glad in it. Oh, passionate yes. about a new day that he has given us to serve him. Serve him with passion. Amen. Serve him with passion. Second Corinthians five seventeen says, "Therefore, if any man, if anyone, that's me, that's you, Amen. If you have never asked him, now is the time to ask Jesus. Come yeah. into my heart. I confess you. I repent. I, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. And today, you start working. You start serving Him. Amen. So praise God. Therefore, if anyone, if anyone, me, is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold." All things have become new. I am a new passionate believer for Jesus. Amen. So don't count yourself out. Count yourself in. But be passionate about it. I used to be so passionate about sports. And I've told you this before. You know this about passion. I still watch sports. But I'm more passionate about God than the sports. All right, Amen. Yeah. He died for me. Yeah. Sports did. That's Amen. It. <laughs> So we gotta, we're going to be talking about getting our priorities right on a daily basis. Uh -huh. Amen. As often as possible. Say, wait a minute. i got to get my priorities right. Mm -hmm. Because the world, people are going to come and try to mess yeah. up with your priorities. So you're going to say, wait a minute. Are my priorities in order? Get your priorities in order. Constantly. Amen. And this, this, this um, uh, Matthew 20 and 28 and Mark 1045, you can write these down, but Matthew 20, 28 says in the NIV, just that the Son of Man did not come just to be served, but to serve. Yes. Amen. We want to be passionate. If we're going to be passionate, we're going to serve with passion. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what he wants us to do. He said God wants us to love, obey, serve him with passion, mm -hmm. with joy. Yeah. Be, be joyful in doing what you do. Amen. Amen. You know what? <laughs> When the apostles went, when Jesus was preaching, there, God says, uh, you know, hey, we got to feed these people, so let them go. He yeah. says, go and find and see what they have. Yeah. Nobody had anything, but he said, well, just a little lunch mm -hmm. <laughs> from a little kid. Mm -hmm. And the little kid was more than glad to give it up yeah. and share. Yeah. We should be glad and passionate enough to share our God. Amen. To share our God with, with, with everybody. And he gave up his lunch. And guess what? He got back more in return. Mm -hmm. He said, well, he didn't do much. That's all right. Big or small, do it unto him. But Jesus came to serve, not to be served. And that's what uh, Mark uh, 1045 says. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. And give his life a ransom for many. For us. Amen. Yeah. And they were excited about this. John 3.16 says, for God so loved the world. He, with passion, gave his only begotten Son. Yes. And whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. So they're showing us, they're teaching us where to imitate them. 
Don't let nobody else. Don't copy somebody else. He didn't make you to be a copy. He, he made you to be an original. Amen. So praise God. He is saying, I want you to do everything with joy, with passion. When it comes to loving me, serving me, serving my people, and living for me. Yes. Amen. Come on. You might as well say amen or oh me. <laughs> people are passionate about everything. Except God. Amen. We're passionate about everything. Hurry up, Pastor, because... Uh, yeah, you know, hey, that football game starts in, in in about 45 minutes, so hurry up, you know. Yeah. Well, many excuses. Yeah. <laughs> for not coming to church oh, yeah. or serving God, you know. Hey, with this, uh, uh, what do you call it? The coronavirus. COVID with this coronavirus, COVID nineteen. <laughs> We, we got another excuse. We don't have to come to church. <laughs> and now the government's backing and says, hey, we can't gather so many. And that's it, you know. So I got no excuse not to go to church. But we're the church of God. It's not this building. The church of God is us yes. going out into the world. Amen. You are. We are the body of Christ. Yes. We are the church of God going yes. somewhere to happen. Right. Amen. So be excited. Say, hey, praise God. You know, they can't hold me down. That's it. I'm going. I'm going to be excited. I'm, a, I, I, I'm enthusiastic. Uh -huh. I'm excited about this. You know how we day we're going to the game. I'm so excited. I've been waiting here for hours, getting in line for hours. Uh -huh. You know, in, in cold weather, freezing weather, cold weather, yeah. raining weather, yes, bad weather. Yeah, it doesn't matter, man. The sun is just beating down on us. Right. It doesn't matter. I'm excited. I'm at the game, and you know, I'm jumping up and down. We come to church and we sit like. <laughs> and we look at our watch you know, uh -huh. and say when are you going to get over <laughs> come on now <laughs> so we're passionate about everything politics, sports, theaters, movies fashions, foods, oh. cooking whatever oh. your favorite one is we all have one but we're not passionate about God church we must listen this is November we must start every day uh -huh. we must close every day and close every year with a bang, yes. with excitement, you know, and start every day. Yeah. And then this is the day the Lord has made. That's start right. every day and every year excited about God. That's it. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord, for another year. You've given us another year. I'm excited. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be excited for Him. Yeah. Be excited to serve Him. Amen. With a winning attitude, with an attitude of gratitude. With passion, joyfully, soaring high, <laughs> and not scratching, not dragging, not uh -huh. doubting, not hesitating, still raw. You know, hey, I brought my past with me. No, let it go. It's gone. Yeah. He's forgiven your past. He's forgiven your sins. Quit dragging them with you. Let go of all that stuff. It's no longer there. You're a new creature in Christ. <clears throat> Matthew six thirty three says, "Seek Him first yes. daily." Seek Him first. That's my priority. Set priorities right on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Or as often as you want to mm -hmm. on a daily basis. No more excuses. Old or new. <laughs> Don't accept them. Though that's the way it's always been. Uh -uh. This is the way it's supposed to be. This is the mindset. Mm -hmm. You don't have to accept that. That's right. Don't pick up any more excuses. <laughs> There's too many. Yeah. Now we got a good excuse because of what's happening. The coronavirus, the pandemic 19. You don't have to pick it up and say, well, hey, you know, my body is different. The Holy Spirit, I'm saying on the word of God. Amen. You confess it and receive your healing. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. And we just got tested and we made it. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> God's not looking. Listen, God's not looking for perfect people. He's looking for available people. He's looking for available believers who are passionate to serve him. You know, here's a quick list that I have that you can have for yourself. <laughs> and it says, you know, we're always excluding ourselves. He says, if you think God can't use you, remember this. Mm -hmm. Noah was a drunk. No more. Abraham was too old. Well, God mm -hmm. can't use me anymore because uh, I'm too old. Mm -hmm. I'm too short. Mm -hmm. I'm whatever. Mm -hmm. You can make all the excuses. Mm -hmm. But listen. Isaac was a daydreamer. He was an airhead. <laughs> Jacob was a liar. Well, this is one for me. Leah was ugly. Okay? 
<laughs> Joseph was abused. Moses stuttered. <laughs> you want me to lead your people out of Egypt? Mm -hmm. I stutter. I can't do this. Mm -hmm. We're always telling God why he can't use us. Mm -hmm. But he sees the good in us. He knows yeah. what he's put in us. Yeah. He's, get, he's called us. He's anointed us. He's gifted us. He put everything in us to fulfill whatever he's called you to do. Uh -huh. All you need to do is know the truth and press on. You know, you got to put some feet to your faith yeah. so you can step out in faith. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, come on now. <laughs> the little boy, we talked about the little boy with the lunch, you know. When his time came, he gave up his lunch. Mm -hmm. He says, you can use my lunch. And the apostles, well, they, 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 they went back to Jesus and they, and they was going to tell him, this is all we found, so let him go now. Mm -hmm. There's not enough. No, he says, that's enough. And he blessed it and it multiplied. Mm -hmm. Whatever you have, he's blessing it and it's going to multiply. Remember that. David was a little shepherd boy and became king of Israel. You know, so don't call yourself a nobody. He was just a little shepherd boy. How can God use a little shepherd boy? To become the next king of Israel. Mm. Amen. So he's called you. He sees the good in you. See the good in yourself. See mm -hmm. the way. See yourself yeah. the way he sees you. And this is just a few. <laughs> Jonah was a runaway. He ran from God. Mm -hmm. How many of us have ran from God before? Mm. Well, you're calling the wrong person. You don't know me. <laughs> Come on now. He knows you better than you know yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. He knows you better than you know yourself. But Jonah ran. God says, go to Nineveh. Jonah says, no, I'm going the other way. Mm. But you know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi was a widow. Well, I can't serve you now, God, because I'm a widow. Poor little widow, widow lady. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, here's one. Rahab was a prostitute. Mm. Well, God can't use you now. You know, if you, if you hang around the wrong people, they're going to tell you why you're not qualified. Mm -hmm. They're going to tell you why God can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. Best thing for you to do is find out what the Word of God says yes. about you. Yes. Find out what the Word of God says right. about you. And get the Word in you. When you get the Word of God in you, uh -huh. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they say. Yeah. What matters is what yeah. He says. Right. But you know, open it up and read it. Yes. And get the Word in you. Yes, Amen? Yeah. It's when you learn that truth, it's going to set you free from all yeah. the mindsets, from all the negative things yeah. people have been telling you. Uh -huh. And from all the th negative things that you've been thinking about yourself. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Amen. Mm -hmm. Whew, how about this? Peter denied Jesus three times. Mm -hmm. So Jesus could have said, I'm not going to use you anymore. Mm -hmm. You're no good. No. Mm -hmm. He used it to preach some great services for him. And thousands came yeah. and gave their lives to Christ because yeah. of Peter. Yeah. Amen. What I'm saying is, well, I got to tell you, <laughs> Lazarus was dead. Amen. Uh -huh. And he also used a, jaw, a donkey. Uh -huh. Amen. So, <laughs> that's me. I'm in. <laughs> Jesus used them all. Uh -huh. And he can use you. Yes. I don't care who you are. You just pointed yourself, mm -hmm. and that's you. He can use you. Yes. Remember that. Yeah. You are somebody. If you don't see yourself as somebody, it's time you start seeing uh -huh. yourself the way he sees you. Yeah. A winner, a champion. Uh, we, we've got some of those in a few minutes I want to read to you. But still, God's not looking for the perfect people. Right. He's looking for the available yeah. people. I put myself aside and what I think about myself and what people think about me. And Lord, here I am. Use me. That's all you have to say. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm available. Use me. He's going to. Amen. That's what he's been waiting for. Mm -hmm. He's been waiting for you to get off your kung mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and and make yourself available to him. Yes, amen. You know, because we can disqualify ourselves. Oh, we got lots of friends that's going to help us disqualify ourselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> amen. So, anyway, with passion. Passion is... <laughs> passion is... Getting fired up. Getting fired up. Once again, you know, we get fired up for everything else but God. Yeah. Getting fired up, passionate, joyful in serving and obeying Him. Yes. Getting our blood pumping, excited, motivated, uh -huh. and enthused about yeah. serving Him. Amen. Pumping weights.
pumping and building our spiritual muscles for God. Amen. Yeah. I, I like working out. Mm. Work out those spiritual muscles. Yeah, you can do a good workout physically, but what about spiritually? Mm -hmm. Amen. Work out. You have a good work at sp spiritual workouts on a daily basis and building those spiritual muscles, mm -hmm. building yourself up, Amen. staying connected to them. Amen. Yeah, yeah I'm pumping weights. Praise God for Jesus. Getting stirred up, doing this daily, doing this yearly, monthly, yearly, yeah. always. Amen. So we're called to be passionate believers, mm -hmm. joyfully believers for God. <laughs> what is your passion? Hopefully, God first. Mm -hmm. Matthew six thirty three. Seek Him first. Amen. Let's go there. Yeah. Amen. Let's go there. We see, we read it all the time, but that's all right. I hope you've got a, a highlight. I hope you have underlined. I hope you added your name to it. Matthew 6, 33. Book of Matthew. 6, 33. Uh, I, <clears throat> I don't know about yours, but mine's in red. If it's in red, it means Jesus is saying, is speaking. Jesus is saying. It says, But seek first, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. In the Amplify says, But seek aim at and strive after first at all his kingdom and his righteousness his way of doing and being right mm -hmm. and then all these things taken together will be given to you besides amen so get ourselves in order that's what he wants us to do yeah seek him first put him on the throne get yourself off or whatever you have there and put him first <coughs> God gave his best, Jesus gave his best, and we can give our best with a passion and with gratitude. Amen. Lord, you, what you did, I appreciate. It. And I serve you with passion and with gratitude. When you hear passionate believers, what comes to mind? Excitement? Motivation? Mm -hmm. Stirred up? Commitment? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give yourself up. Totally committed. Surrender yourself and commit yourself. Be excited. Be excited to be a believer, a Christian yeah. for God. Amen. <laughs> People in the world, they're excited about what they've become, what they are. Uh -huh. And they have no problems telling you about themselves. But you know, if you're a, a believer for God, if you're a, a child of God, why are we so ashamed to say it? He said, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Yeah. So we don't have to hold back this time. Every, everything's come out of the closet except for the Christians. <laughs> we need to come out of our closets and not be ashamed to say, hey, I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. What are you? <laughs> I'm a pastor for God. I'm a child of God. Whatever he's called you to be, yeah. be enthused, be excited about it. Yeah. Excite, excited uh, because God loves me, because it's paid in full, because of my salvation. Yeah. That's what I'm excited about. <laughs> this is not the end of it. Uh -huh. We're just passing through. This is not my world. My world's in heaven. <laughs> We're just passing through. This is not my place. My place is in heaven. And your place is in heaven too. But I'm excited. Hey, I'm going to stay busy for him and serve him as long as I'm here. As long as he has me here. And then I'm going to join him in heaven. Amen. Amen. Excited about Jesus. Excited about Bible studies. <laughs> excited about, you know, reading your Bible. Uh -huh. Excited about church. <laughs> yeah. Excited about serving. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Jesus, our greatest example, was so excited to fulfill his mission. What about us, church? You know, at many times, Jesus could have just said, Father, I give up. Get me out of here. Mm -hmm. These people are bad. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're around negative, bad people all the time. Mm -hmm. And we just want to throw it up and say, hey, forget it. We got to build ourselves up, keep ourselves full with the word. Yeah. Amen. And don't allow yourself to just go empty. If you go empty, you're going to start acting like the world and doing what the world does. So let's not do that. Just keep yourself full and build it up with the word of God. Amen. So praise God. 
Thank you, Lord. Mm. Excited. Uh -huh. Remember, church, he's paid the price. Yes. He paid a price he didn't know, and I owe a debt I cannot pay. That's right. So, Lord, I owe it all to you. Mm. So I'm making myself available to you. Use me in any way that you want to use me. Amen. Mm. Pastor and Ali was talking about it, and they show it passionately. They walk the walk and talk the talk. Hmm? They just don't pretend. Hey, yeah, you know what? Hey, I just do church, you know, when, when we meet at the church building. <coughs> After that, I said, <coughs> well, the next one, I should direct your, your next one first, but well, watch your words and your actions. Yeah. Because, hey, you can talk the talk when we get around church people. Oh, churchy being churchy. All right. <laughs> But guess what? When we leave these four walls mm -hmm. and we get out there in the world, mm -hmm. what are you talking with them? Mm -hmm. What are you saying to them? What are they seeing? Mm -hmm. hmm? Watch your words and your actions. Say, hey, I thought you went to church. I thought you was a Christian. Mm -hmm. So how come you're hanging here? How come you're saying this? Mm -hmm. What's up with that? You're setting the wrong example. Mm -hmm. People know you and people are seeing you. Mm -hmm. Speak the words of God. Speak faith your words. Amen. Amen. Passion believers get passionate for him on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. The choice is yours. Why not get passionate about God? Serve him and his people with passion on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. On a daily basis. I mean, we keep saying this over and over, but it's okay. We got to get it in us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, you go over a scripture and you read a scripture and you've read it so many times. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, it just light comes on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you say, wow, I never saw a scripture like this before. Mm -hmm. It never meant this to me before. Yeah. But guess what? <laughs> You're growing spiritually. Yes. You're maturing spiritually. That's yes. okay. That's what the Word of God does. When you keep reading the Word, it, you keep growing spiritually. And that's what we need to do on a daily basis yeah. is grow in the Word mature spiritually amen yeah. grow spiritually uh -huh. amen don't stay the same and don't be the same don't you just don't come sit and do nothing That's right. and you just don't wake up every day and just go with the flow <laughs> amen uh -huh. you gotta get in the word and find out what the word says read it so that you can start growing and changing amen yeah. and sometimes <laughs> you ain't gonna like it but I say, well, I see what the word God says, Lord. I've been doing it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to start doing it the right way. Yeah, it's time. Mm -hmm. He's been waiting for us. <laughs> he's waiting on us. And we, we, we keep saying, well, I'm waiting on you, Lord. No, yeah. he's done what he's got to do. Yeah. Now it's up to us to do something. Right, right. Come on, got to <clears throat> be excited. And I know you've read this uh, so many times, but we're going to read it again. <laughs> and we'll tell you a story about four passionate believers. <laughs> Mark, you can write this down. Mark chapter two, verses one through five. And I'm gonna read it to you from a different translation, New Living Translation. But it goes like this. <clears throat> you can follow along with your translation. When Jesus returned to Capernaum several days later, <clears throat> the news spread quickly that he was back home. <laughs> Must have been in Martha. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows your home. <laughs> soon the house <laughs> said soon the house where he was staying was so packed with visitors that there was no more room. No room. Even outside the door. And you know <laughs> we should be glad when your church is full of people. Yeah. But you got some Christians, you know that get mad and say, you know why? Because you sitting on my chair. <laughs> you sitting on my pew. How dare you sit on my pew? It's got my name on it. I want you to move. My pillow's there. Yeah, my pillow's there, my Bible's there, everything's there. No, church, we should be happy because the building is full of people hungry for God. Yes. Yeah. And who are we to say, well, <clears throat> you know, hey, you sitting in the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm only talking about me not you. <laughs> there was no more room even outside the door time hmm. you know what 
There's no more room. You just give up. No hope. Hey, you know what? I went by the church. The door was closed, so I just, you know, <laughs> kept going. Oh. Well, <laughs> at least get yourself close, as close as possible. Mm. While he was preaching God's word to them, yeah. he was preaching the word of God. What do we preach? We yeah. preach the word of God. Mm -hmm. It worked for them, it'll work for us. Mm -hmm. It says, four passionate men arrived carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. Mm. They couldn't bring him to Jesus because of the crowd. Yeah. It was so crowded, they couldn't bring him to Jesus. They couldn't go that way. So guess what they done? They went up to the roof. They oh. dug a hole through the roof yeah. above his yeah. head. Yeah. Oh, man. <coughs> you messed up my message. You messed up my viewing. You messed up my streaming. Oh, okay. How dare you interrupt my message? That's not Jesus' attitude. Right. And that shouldn't be our attitude. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and they open a hole on the roof above Jesus' head. Uh -huh. Then they lowered the man on his mat uh -huh. right in front of Jesus. Man, this is pretty good. Uh -huh. They figured all this out. You know, <laughs> they must have been good mathematicians. You know? Say, wow, how they figure this out? And they dropped it right in front of where Jesus was, you know. No, <clears throat> But what did Jesus see? They go with the man right in front of him. Mm -hmm. What did Jesus see? You know, <laughs> sometimes we come to church and all we see is negative things. Oh, man. Amen. Wow. I, I'm just going to tell you this quick story about, about this lady that walked up to a pastor and said, Pastor, I ain't coming back anymore because I see people uh, doing all kinds of things, you know, mm -hmm. paying, no, paying no attention. They're on their, on their, in the cell, their cell phones. They're doing this. They're doing that. You see, I... <laughs> I'm just going to go. Pastor says, okay, I want to give you this full glass of water. And I want you to walk around the church a couple of times. And you come back and see me before you go. Mm -hmm. And she come back. And uh, she says, well, how'd it go? He says, well, I'm good. She, he says, how much water did you spill? He, she says, none. She I was too focused on the water. I didn't want to spill any. <laughs> he says, that's the way we need to be when mm -hmm. we listening to the word of God yes. when we're spending yes. time with him yes. be so focused on him uh -huh. <laughs> I don't care yeah. who's sitting next to me right. I don't care who's doing what who's right. dressed what or who, whatever's going on uh -huh. I'm focused I've come mm -hmm. to receive mm -hmm. because when I receive it's going to bless me it's going to yes. change me it's going to encourage me Amen. and it's going to correct me that's right. and that's what we need to do yeah. you know hey get our minds right get the world out uh -huh. and Lord come in and do what needs to be done mm -hmm. Amen. You know, he says he's the potter where the clay. And we sit in front of him mm -hmm. and he'll cover all this. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we got to be willing to do mm -hmm. this. So anyway, Jesus says, <laughs> Jesus saw their faith. Yes, he did. And we need to see the same thing. Mm -hmm. A new person comes to Christ. And the first thing we do say is, <laughs> do you know the background of these people? Mm -hmm. Do you know? I could tell you some things. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. they've done this, they've done that. They've been no good all their mm -hmm. lives. But the Bible says we're, he's, he, she is a new creature in Christ now. Yes, yes. So whatever you're holding against them, mm -hmm. that's your problem. Yeah. Because God is not holding it against them anymore. Right. You are. And you got to see them the way he sees them. Mm -hmm. Say, Jesus saw their faith. Mm -hmm. Say, how dare you interrupt my service? Mm -hmm. No, he says, he saw their faith. Let's continue. Verse 5. Yeah. Jesus said to the paralyzed man, My child, your sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you know this? <laughs> he says, Your sins are forgiven. Uh -huh. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and says, Stand up. Uh -huh. He didn't say, If you want to, huh. or maybe. He says, Stand up, mm -hmm. pick up your mat, and go home. Mm -hmm. But you don't understand. I can't do this. Mm. The man was willing and obedient to obey what God told him to do. Mm -hmm. He picked up his mat. This is what it says. And the man, <laughs> the man jumped up, grabbed his mat, and walked out through the stunned onlookers. Yeah. <laughs> People were stunned when they saw him. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, stand up, get, pick up your mat, and go home. 
awesome, you know? Mm -hmm. He jumped up mm -hmm. and he did what Jesus told him to do. Yeah. He's been telling us some of these things to some of us. Yeah. You're watching, you're listening. Uh -huh. He's told you and we're still waiting. Yeah. He's told you what to do and you still hold him back. Uh -huh. He's waiting for you to put some faith on those steps and start moving in faith mm -hmm. and obey what he's told you to do. Mm -hmm. And we're still holding back because yeah. of what people said, yeah. of what you're ashamed of yourself or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's time to forgive all that. He says, stand up. Yes. Pick up your mat and go home. Uh -huh. He jumped up, grabbed his mat and walked out. And guess what? People were just staring. And they were stunned. Mm -hmm. They were just watching. And mm -hmm. a lot of he's still doing these things today. Yes. And people are still stunned because <laughs> <laughs> they don't can't understand how God can forgive right. their past like that. Uh -huh. But he can. All you need to do is surrender yourself. Repent. And confess it to him. And he's gonna forgive you yes. and forget. Amen. Don't worry what, what people say. That's it. Every part of him functioning normal. <laughs> this translation says he got up and he jumped up and he says every part of him mm -hmm. was functioning normal. Mm -hmm. Remember, he was crippled. He was paralyzed. Mm -hmm. Now every part of him is functioning normal. Mm -hmm. They were all amazed and praised God passionately exclaiming, <laughs> we've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> That's all right. I'm excited. I want to see more of this. Mm -hmm. Amen. And guess what? Yeah. God's going to use you to set somebody free. Yeah. God's going to use you to lay hands on somebody. And that somebody, that, that paralyzed person, that blind person, uh -huh. is going to open their eyes. That mute, that can't speak, is going to yeah. speak. That person that cannot hear is going to hear. Yeah. And he's going to use you. You just got to believe in yourself. And you got to believe that God is able to use you to do these, these things for him. He's the head, we're the body. We're the body. And he uses his body to fulfill mm -hmm. his 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 ministry here on, on, on the in this world. Amen. So you're it. We're it. <laughs> four passionate people, believers. Four passionate believers and their mission. Get the paralyzed man to Jesus. Uh -huh. What about your mission? Mm -hmm. What's he told you to do? And you're still holding back. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I've told you this before. You don't want to get in front of Jesus one day and find out he never used anything yeah. or did anything he told yeah. you to do. And you're going to have to answer to him and say, right. why didn't you do or use what I gave you to, to, get to do? Right. Or what are you going to say? Mm -hmm. Well, I was afraid. Mm. My friends told me I couldn't. Mm. No, it's time to put it aside. Mm -hmm. That fear, let all those things yeah. go and just say, hey, Lord, he says you can do all things all through things. Christ who yes. strengthens you. Yes. Start believing and start thinking yes. this way. Amen. And forget about the past. These men knew Jesus could help. Their mission was to get the man or their friend or their mm -hmm. brother or their sister or maybe an enemy to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Well, guess what? Jesus is bringing you to them. Yeah. <laughs> and you can do this. Amen. I've had some of my people, some of my own family tell me, don't preach at me. Mm. Don't preach here. Okay? We're talking about family. Okay? So, the world is cruel. The world is, is mad. Mm. And the world is going to tell you these things. But guess what? <laughs> Jesus says, just dust, dust your feet and keep on keep going. On keep on pressing mm. for Jesus. Keep yeah. on pressing with the smile, with the passion, with that excitement with yeah. the joy. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> we can be like these four passionate men on a daily basis, yearly, monthly. They wouldn't settle for a note from Jesus. Mm -hmm. Well, here, Jesus sent you a note. They wouldn't settle for that. And, and they wouldn't settle for Jesus just sending a disciple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh -huh. They went, okay? But now Jesus says, mm -hmm. He's gone. Yeah. He's left the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and He's working through us. Amen. And we can go and do the things that He did. Yes. Amen. So praise Amen. God. So what is your passion today? Yeah. One of the things we must do is get saved. Yeah. Serve and obey Him with passion Amen. and spread His good news. Yeah. 
Yes. Amen. And we can do these things. We're not going to finish all this because there's a, a lot of good things more to say. If you don't know where you're going, you'll end up somewhere lost. Yes. Because you were following the wrong thing. Right. You were following the wrong advice. Mm -hmm. Amen. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But when know that God has a plan for you. When he has a plan for you, you stay in tune. Amen. You stay in tune with him and you'll end up at the right place every time. Yes. Amen. He gave Jonah the plan. Mm -hmm. Jonah says, ah, I ain't going that way. <laughs> so he ended up in the valley of a, water, of a big fish. Yeah. And all of a sudden, he comes to his right senses. And he says, you know, Lord, I'll do what you want me to do. Okay? <laughs> Some of us don't have to be like Jonah. <laughs> End up in the wrong place. But then the Lord delivered him to the shores of Nineveh. Mm -hmm. He told the fish. I don't know what he tell way he communicated with the fish. And the fish went and spit him out right in mm -hmm. front of the shores of Nineveh. Mm -hmm. And he went and delivered a message. And he's called you to do the same thing. Yeah. So now it's time that you get up and proceed and do what God's called you to do. Remember, you can do all things through Christ. Oh, Amen. Man. You can do all things through Christ. So stay passionate and filled in God's and fulfilling God's plan for your life. Mm -hmm. Stay focused and enjoy where you are on where you're going or where he's taking you. And in this, closing with this, <laughs> bloom where God plants you. Yeah. Grow and bloom wherever God plants you. I've seen many beautiful plants that are growing on side of buildings, on crack, on a, a concrete. Wherever that seed fell, mm -hmm. it grew. And guess what? It's blooming now. Mm -hmm. And it's producing for God. And yeah. we can do the same thing. Wherever he has you, don't have an attitude about, well, I don't want to be here. Right. Just say, Lord, I can do whatever you want me to do right yeah. here, wherever you have me. Yeah. I can do all things through you. So, bloom for God, wherever yeah. you happen to be. Amen? Amen? So, praise God. We'll stop right there. <clears throat> and I hope uh, it blessed you. Yeah. It blessed me. Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, let me uh, say this real quick. Keys to bloom where you're planted. <laughs> if you don't have this, you need one of these. <laughs> but it says... Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Know God by having a personal relationship with Him. Know that you have a call from God. Know that God has a plan for you. Know that you, uh, that God has a plan for you. Know that you are in God's will. Know that God is your source. And yes. know that you are rewarded and uh, laid up at, uh, in heaven. Amen. Know that you are important to Him. Yes. Amen. Praise God. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. Walk in love and compassion of God. Amen. Walk without offense. Walk with, uh, maintain your joy in God and be patient. Uh, never quit. Be faithful. Be flexible. Willing to change. Be dependable. Be a good hearer and doer. Be a good follower and a passionate believe you for God. Amen. Amen. I mean, these are awesome. This we can, we, you can, you can read these on a daily basis. Yeah. Amen. Because it's going to lift you up and not set you down. Be quick to lift somebody up and not put them down. Yeah. But we, we, we're so quick to put people down instead of lifting up. Amen. So mm -hmm. bloom where God has you and be what God want has you to be. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I don't know about you. It blessed me. So uh, I pray that it bless you. Thank you, Lord, that we can put your word. To use yes. Father God and be what you called us to be, Lord. Yes. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So praise God. If you're not feeling well, just say, By Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Yes. This body is the temple of the yes. Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. And I don't accept sickness in this body. So sickness, you have a name and you're bound to the name of Jesus. Yes. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. Yes. So I speak healing in that body right now. Yes. In Jesus' name. Whatever that sickness happened to be, it doesn't matter. God, by Jesus Christ, He paid the price, and by His stripes you are healed. And you call yourself healed and start confessing what the Word of God says and not your problem. Amen. Amen. We're so quick to confess the problem and not the answer. Mm -hmm. Confess the Word and not the problem. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Well, if you're watching, listening, and you'd like to give, uh, you can still give your tithe or offerings. 
All you have to do is go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. Or you can mail to NBC, PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And we want to thank you for joining us. And we love you and appreciate you. Amen. So praise God.